WT News 5, leading the way with breaking news. And multiple people killed, more than a dozen injured in a crash on a major Ohio interstate. Thanks for joining us tonight at 4 o'clock. I'm Sheree Palello. And I'm Ashley Kirkland. We do know a charter bus carrying banned students from an Ohio high school was involved in this crash, and at least 15 of them were injured. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson is live along Interstate 70 in Licking County. And Karen, it looks like the highway is still shut down there. Uh, yeah, it is, Ashley. It's been closed since about 9 o'clock this morning when this crash happened. I-70 westbound. Mass casualty incident. SMI is on fire. We're working on uh, getting uh, patients out of the bus this time. And as you can see from Sky 5, it involves five vehicles, including a semi and a charter bus carrying banned students from Tuscarawas Valley Schools. Tuskegee Valley is about an hour south of Akron. District officials say band members and chaperones were on their way to Columbus to perform at a conference. We have confirmed multiple people were killed. Governor Mike DeWine told us a short time ago that they weren't releasing the exact number of people killed until all of the victim's family members were notified. The Associated Press, however, reports at least three people were killed. Troopers did confirm 18 people who were on the charter bus were taken to seven area hospitals, and of those injured, five, 15, excuse me, are students. Uh, hearts go out uh, to Tuskegee Valley, um, and that school, it's a very tight-knit community, um, rather small school, rural part of the county, and um, I can only imagine what, uh, you know, the community is going through right now, so. And Governor DeWine did say he had a chance to speak to some of the students nearby at a church as they were reunited with family members. He said, you know, at this point, there's really not a lot that he was wanted really to say to them, uh, he, except right now he could say he's sorry. Reporting live in Licking County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Now, Karen, from where you are, it appears that you can see the scene of the crash. Any idea if it's close to being cleared or when I-70 will reopen? Yeah, Ashley, let me step out. You can uh, see the crash scene. It's still a pretty active scene down there. And you know, a crash of this size, it does take time to investigate. Investigators basically have to go back out there and they have to recreate the crash scene. And when there's five vehicles involved, that takes, you know, a lengthy time. An ODOT spokesman uh, said it would remain closed for the foreseeable future. So really no timeline on when this interstate will reopen. All right, Karen Johnson live for us there. Thanks so much, Karen. Meanwhile,